A ceremony took place in the presence of President Captain Ibrahim Traore to mark the delivery of new Chinese military equipment, demonstrating the country's commitment to strengthening its defense forces. The decision of Burkina Faso to enhance its military capabilities with Chinese armored vehicles and artillery is a step in strengthening its defense infrastructure and also a strong signal in the conflict that opposes Burkina Faso to neighboring countries and France. Indeed, Burkina Faso was recently the scene of a military coup that saw Captain Ibrahim Traore propelled to the presidency. His policy is strongly marked by the rejection of France, which he considers a neo-colonizer, as well as ECOWAS, an association of African states hostile to the rise of the military in the region. The purchase of various Chinese military vehicles then appears to be an obvious choice. Firstly, Burkina Faso breaks with France by no longer militarily depending on them. Secondly, President Captain Traore strengthens his military arsenal in anticipation of a potential attack from ECOWAS. Although this may seem far-fetched today, it is good to remember that this organization issued an ultimatum to the Malian military to relinquish power. Mali, being a close ally of Burkina Faso, is a country that it has sworn to defend. Strengthening the Burkinabi military forces in this tense geopolitical context is then an absolute necessity. The appeal to China, which offers a political alternative and especially unbeatable prices for its equipment, has seduced the leaders of Burkina Faso. But what are the vehicles received by the Burkinabi armed forces? Let's take a look now. The 105mm WMA301 fire support vehicle is a mobile artillery platform designed by Narinko, the China North Industries Corp., and used by several countries including China, Senegal, Chad, Cameroon, and Djibouti. Equipped with a main cannon of 100 or 105mm, it also integrates a coaxial machine gun of 7.62mm caliber and a 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun. The WMA-301 is designed to offer effective protection against 12.7mm caliber fire and shell splinters on the battlefield, thanks to its robust armor. It can accommodate a crew of four soldiers plus one, ensuring maximum operability and responsiveness in combat. In terms of performance, it reaches a maximum speed of 85 km per hour on the road and has a range of 600 km. The dimensions of the vehicle, with the cannon, are 8.3 meters long, 2.86 meters wide, and 3.15 meters high, weighing 19,000 kilograms. To support operations in various conditions, it is equipped with NB protection systems, fire control, night vision, GPS, and air conditioning, thus increasing its versatility on the battlefield. The arrival of the Narinko 81mm CS-SM1 self-propelled mortars is an innovative mobile artillery solution designed to provide effective fire support in military operations. This system integrates an 81mm mortar mounted on a vehicle, combining mobility and firepower. The design of the CS-SM1 allows for rapid action and great mobility on the battlefield, making it particularly suitable for missions requiring rapid deployments and frequent position changes. Its ability to launch precise support fire at a considerable distance makes it a strategic asset in combat operations. In addition, the vehicle is designed to be easily maneuverable in various environments, ranging from urban areas to rough terrain, thus increasing its flexibility of use. The CS-SM1 thus combines the efficiency of a traditional mortar with the advantages of a mobile vehicle, offering a versatile and powerful solution for modern armed forces. Furthermore, the shipment included a variety of munitions and weapons, such as 60mm WW90 mortars, mortar rounds, and rounds for RPG-7 type recoilless rifles. This diverse range of munitions ensures that the Burkina Faso military forces are well equipped to face various combat challenges. This delivery is the first of five shipments planned as part of a strategic equipment plan announced by President Traore on December 31, 2023. The plan, detailed in his televised speech, aims to consolidate the country's military strength. Moreover, the formation of the Special Rapid Intervention Brigade, 
integrating different rapid intervention battalions and a special forces group, signifies a tactical evolution in Burkina Faso's approach to reclaiming territory from militant groups. The reception of Chinese military equipment by Burkina Faso, including the WMA-301 fire support vehicles and the CS-SM-1 self-propelled mortars, marks a crucial moment in its defense history. These acquisitions, part of a broader strategic equipment plan, are intended to significantly strengthen the country's military capabilities. With these improvements, Burkina Faso is better positioned to address the security challenges it faces, particularly in its efforts to combat militant insurgencies within its borders. <laughs>